Having better gear is very important for any game content. So in this Guild Wars 2 Ascended Gear Guide, we will learn how to get Ascended weapons and armor from the Icebrood Saga Strike Missions rewards. And at the end of the video, I will give you a few tips to get fast Ascended gear for all your characters. In Eye of the North, you will find this vendor called Chart Collector and they will have this blue crystal icon above their head. In the third and fourth tab, you will find some chests that contain Ascended armor. Each one will cost some blue profit shards and some gold. Blue profit shards is the main currency for the Ice Pro Saga strike missions and you will get them every time you finish any of the strike missions even if you did them many times per day. On average, you will get 2 shards from all strike missions, except Cold War which most of the time will give between 5 and 6 shards and Forging Steel which will give most of the time between 10 to 13 shards. You will also get some extra shards when you do the daily priority strike. You will find that under the daily section and then go to daily strike mission and you will see which one it is for the Ice Road Saga and for the End of Dragons 1. You can see the amount of shards you have at the bottom here when you talk to the vendor and you will also see it as one of the currencies in your wallet if you want to check the numbers from there. In the third tab you will find assaulter and malicious chests and in the fourth tab you will find defenders and healers chests. The only difference between all of them is the stats they offer. You will find a list of all the available stats from all of those chests in the description below. Between those four types of chests you can choose any stat you want in game. The only exception are the end of dragon stats like ritualist and dragons. And I have another guide that shows you in details how to get those stats if you want to check it out. The link will be in the description. Once you buy the ascended chest from here, you will find it in your inventory and when you double click, it will open a window that will contain all the weights, so just choose the one you want. For now, I will just choose heavy and when you right click and choose customize, it will open a window and you can choose any stat you want from that chest. In the fifth tab is where we can find ascended weapons. You can buy them using blue profit shards and some gold just like the ascended armor and once you buy them you will find it in your inventory and when you double click it will open a window and you will see all the stats available for that weapon. Only core Terrier stats will be available from those chests like Magi, Apothecary and Berserker. I will leave a list of all the available stats from those ascended weapon chests in the description below. But you can change stats on ascended weapons and armor to anything else you want. So for example, if you wanted Viper, just select any stat and then change it later to Viper. I have a guide where we explain how to do that in details, you will find the link for it in the description. Now I will give you a few tips to get ascended weapons and armor from strike missions in an easy and fast way. There are three strike missions that are very easy to do for everyone, even if you are brand new to the game. They are Shiver Peaks Pass, Freiner of Jormag, Voice of the Fallen and Claw of the Fallen. In total, for all three of them, they should take around 10 to 15 minutes to finish. And if you look in the strike missions tab, whether it's experience or the training, very often you will find multiple groups for them. A lot of times you will find people referring to them as the three easy strikes. Even if you did not find any LFGs advertised here, you can just make one yourself and it will fill up very quickly. So just try to keep doing those three strike missions as often as you can, because remember that you get charged every time you finish any strike mission, even if you did them multiple times per day. And if you had some extra time, try to do the daily priority strike. Most of them will be very easy for everyone and only a couple can be a little challenging. Strike missions are also a very good way to make some gold. So not only will you be getting charts to get ascended weapons and armor, but you will also be making a lot of gold at the same time. I really like doing all of the strike missions at least once per day, but I find forging steel to be a little annoying because of how long it takes. Let me know in the comments below which strike missions are your favorites, and if you do them every day, what is your daily routine? If you want to know exactly how to make a lot of gold from the strike missions, check the video on your screen now. So, I will see you in the next guide.